Let me show you how I will actually sketch a piecewise function like this. Okay, because I'm going to start sketching for what I can first, okay, which is going to be from 0 to 4. So what I'll do, right, is I will sketch the graph of y is equal to 7 minus x squared first. Okay, I think this is like really uh, a better way for me to sketch a piecewise function. Although in your calculator, there's also a function called piecewise function. Okay, but uh, I don't. I seriously don't suggest using that function. Okay, so since I don't suggest using that at all, I'm not even going to try to show you. Okay, your school will show you. Uh, this this is going to be like this. Okay, it is a parabola. So for seven minus x square, I need to chop it off from zero to two. So zero is here. Two is somewhere here. Two. So when x is equal to 0, here is 7. When x is equal to 2, 7 minus 4, this is going to be 3. Okay, so I'm going to be expecting myself to be doing this here, all the way until this point, solid dot. Okay, this point here is going to be at 2, 3. This point here is going to be at 0, 7. So I'm going to be planting this back into here, okay? But hang on, hang on for a second. The other one is... Um, y is equal to 2x minus 1. So this graph here, this graph here is something that is like this. Okay, a, a, a line where here is going to be at 0 minus 1 and here is actually half. Okay, and, and the part that I want is from 2 to 4. So 2 is here, 2 is here, and 4 is, let's say here, so 2 to 4. When I sub 2 in, this is actually 3, right, 2 in, yeah. When I sub 4 in, 8 minus 4 is going to be, so 8 minus 1 here is going to be 7. And uh, this is strictly bigger than 2, less than or equal to 4. So we will have this as a hollow dot. This is going to be a solid dot. So it is going to be like this. So this point here, I'm going to be expecting it to be 2, 3. Actually, it's synchronized to this, 2, 3. This point here is going to be 4, 7. Wait, 7. At least 7 synchronized to this 7. So what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to try to superimpose this here from 0 to 2 first. Okay, which is going to be like here. Let me just uh, mark it down like here. Okay, so I have a graph that is something like this. I'm not going to draw the dot first, okay? You know why? Because this 2, 3 is going to be connected to this 2, 3. Because subsequently, what I'm going to be drawing is from 2 to 4. So it's going to continue. But guess what? This is a solid dot. This is a hollow dot. And they share the same point. What should I draw here? I will draw it as if it is a solid dot. You can just very easily ask yourself, you know, when x is equal to 2, will the graph produce something? When x is equal to 2, the graph will produce 3. So I cannot possibly draw a hollow dot here. Okay, so I would be actually drawing a solid dot here, but dot is an uh, end point. This is not an end point, but it produced something. So I will just not draw any dot. Okay? And you will continue to be here. And this shares the same 7. So at this point here, it will be a straight line until here. For 7. Okay? 